Happy 4th of July to you viewers. I'm just getting back home from a small vacation and uh, has, but that hasn't stopped me from catching up on some new anime that has just released. Uh, I believe it was a couple of days ago. Um, and this lineup of anime that, that uh, I've been keeping track of has actually been very promising. Um, not, there's also some that have no, that hasn't really come to my taste, but uh, I'll try to keep an open mind for later episodes. Um, the first one is probably one of the one of the most intriguing ones that uh, I have, and I've act and it actually goes back for me quite a ways. It's the remake Sailor Moon Crystal. Now, um, when I first got into anime, I was I was a fan for uh, first of Dragon Ball Z and. Uh, on it was on Toonami uh, back in back, I want to say two in the two thousand area, but um, it might have been a little bit earlier. But um, for Dragon Ball Z, that was my show. I loved the hell out of that, uh, out of the whole the whole spiel of two guys strong as hell fighting each other to the death. Um, but when but every time I got home from school. I would always have to wait until Sailor Moon, you know, gets done with that and gets done with that until I can watch what I want to watch. And there have been skepticism on whether Sailor Moon is good or bad, but it probably comes in the area of meh with a lot of people. Um, for as for me, I didn't really care. It was it was a girly show to me, and you know. I never really bothered with it, but now, now that it's getting remade, I can try to pay a little bit more attention to it and see if it, if the remake is good. I do remember the very first old episode of uh, Sailor Moon, and it, uh, at this, it wasn't all that interesting to me, but uh, after seeing the first episode, I was, I was kind of, kind of, um, I wasn't really receptive. I was intrigued that they've actually done a little bit of a better job with this one. I actually see some notable changes in it. Um, it seems like Tuxedo Mass isn't going to have a uh, a uh, urban uh, urban living uh, person in that particular area, or how should I put it, Serena. And, and Serena's relationship with the guy who is supposed to be Tuxedo Mask isn't really touched upon as a mutual guy that she already knows. She and Tuxedo Mask in this one is is portrayed as a character who is familiar with the Sailor Moon lore, or so to speak. Um, I'm actually glad for that, and it it. it might actually make it more believable in this case. And um, I think uh, Serenity in this one, I don't know if her name is Serenity in, in the new new version or not, but that's just how the character was portrayed in the old one. Um, she does seem a little bit more uh, balanced in terms of she's actually nicer in this one rather than... Um, comes across as a as a dunce in the other version but she is she is a little bit naive in this version but more more friendly and friendly in terms of that um but but with that all that aside I'm I will keep a track of uh, Sailor Moon Crystal as the show progresses as for the other shows uh we've also got our gay Velen. It's a mobile suit show, uh, 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 set timeline of, um, there's a war going on and there's obviously advanced technology. Uh, it starts out, uh, mainly with a platoon of soldiers in mobile suits advancing towards, uh, another battle. Um, the main character who gets the supposed mobile suit, the newest version that they made, um, has a sense of duty and tries it and tries his best to become probably a, a more, uh, dignified 
soldier in battle. I don't know where they're going to go with that right now, but I'm keeping track of it. We also got Glass Lip. It's a uh, kind of a slice of life kind of show. There hasn't been really a, a well established uh, plot in the first episode, so I don't really know much about what's going to happen afterwards. But the characters in general weren't really flashy or anything like that, so I'm not going to have a lot of high hopes for Glass Lip. We also got Samurai Jam Baku Matsu Rock. Um, I'm sorry to any people who are fans of the, of this particular um, genre of anime, or if it was a game or something like that. I'm not really sure, because I've seen those characters before. It's something else. But, God, they look freaking stupid. This anime looks really, really bizarre, and I'm not really sure what they're going with on on it or not. But I'll I'll watch it. I'll see if it gets better. But I gotta tell you, the the characters in Samurai Jam it look really, really bizarre and very unappealing. I mean, too much. They got too much clothing. Uh, stereo, uh They got too much. Um, going on with their outfits, and I don't even know if it's supposed to be a uh, MMO world or 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 not. I don't know. Uh, we also got I don't know how to say this one. El de Noah Zero. Uh, this one's another mobile suit kind of show. Um, I also got lost on this one. I'm really not sure what this was a, a mainly about, but it it looks to me. Like an alien civilization found on Mars, or humans went to Mars, colonized, and they made their own um, empire, and now the uh, the uh, the ruler of the empire or the embassy uh, emissary of that royal empire got assassinated, and now the uh, People of Mars are invading Earth in order to eradicate all the population or enslave it. Um, I'm, so, I'm still trying to figure out what the lore is for it, but um, I'll, I'll try to keep track of it. We also got uh, Loco, Loco Doll. Um, this one is... It, it looks more like... Um, uh, what was that other... It was an old one. Sony uh, Sony any supersonic uh, it's that kind of idol show it's an idol show that's um, trying to uh, have a more local area pop idol to gain more attraction to a particular center uh, probably a swim center I believe but um, God I was really bored I was really friggin bored of the entire show and <sighs> It it just kind of it kind of wear, wore out after about ten minutes of watching it. Uh, the characters aren't really appealing at all, and it doesn't really uh, it doesn't really carry anything. But I'll still watch it. Um, uh, we also got uh, Akameg Akameg Kill. Um, this one this is a medieval setting, or is it a mirror? Kind of a more urban or medieval in between. Uh, I guess you could call a mo uh, call a, mo a monster hunter. Kind of, not monster hunter. That would be really freaking weird. Um, pretty much a, me a medieval type period where um, you the main character is trying to go to the capital to become a uh, a dignified fighter or a a warrior or knights um, in order to make a great living. Um, however, in this show, there is corruption, uh, there is evil of all kinds in the population of, uh, this capital that the main character has gone to. And man, did it hit hard. It hit really hard with the, uh, with the whole, uh, evil intent of, uh, all these uh, uh, family uh, of this one family that has that took in the main character 
off the streets just to nurse him back to health or something like that. And then came the, uh, I believe it was the night, um, the, uh, what were they called? The night raid. Uh, it was about six fighters, six, uh, assassins that, um, just comes into the house, freaking kills everybody. Uh, one of the characters has a giant pair of scissors and, I I will explain this in a, in a previous, in, in a, uh, in another episode, uh, for this particular show. Cause there's a lot I do, uh, kind of want to call out on, on some weird things. One of the assassins have a giant pair of scissors and snips the mother right in half. Uh, the other assassins, um, one of them looks like he, uh, has control over wires and, uh, I'm not sure about the other, other guys have at their disposal, but all of them look really, really awesome. Um, I'm pretty excited for this lineup of shows. We also have, um, maybe I should cut and cut this video short real quick, but, uh, I'll, I'll make a follow-up video for this particular one and, uh, explain a lot about some of the other ones that will be popping up. There's four more that I haven't mentioned yet, but I will talk about it in the next episode. Take care and happy holidays to you guys. See you later.